this video, we're learning how to find the least common multiple of monomials. So let's jump into example one. So in example one, we have these two monomials. We have 4x squared y to the fourth and 6x cubed y, and we want to find the least common multiple. So what I'm going to do for this first one is find the least common multiple of each part of my monomial. So first I'm going to find the least common multiple of the numerical parts. So the least common multiple of 4 and 6. And to do that, I'm just going to write out some multiples of 4 and 6. So the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and I'll stop there. And some multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And now we want to see what is the smallest one that they have in common, and that is going to be 12. So the least common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12. And now we need to find the least common multiple of x squared and x to the third. And I'm going to show you guys a shortcut for this. You always just want to take the larger exponent for the variable. So because 3 is larger than 2, the least common multiple of x squared and x cubed is going to be x cubed. And now we're going to do the same thing for the y. So we want to find the least common multiple of y to the fourth and y, and remember y is the same as y to the first. And again, we want to take the larger exponent. So we're going to take this 4. So the least common multiple of y to the fourth and y to the first is y to the fourth. So then our overall least common multiple is just going to be all three of these multiplied together. So it's going to be 12 times x to the third times y to the fourth. Moving on to example 2, we have 10a to the fourth b squared c cubed, and 5a squared b to the sixth. So I'm going to write out some multiples of 5 and 10. So some multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and some multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40. And you may notice that the least common multiple between 5 and 10 is just 10. So for our overall least common multiple, we're going to start with a 10. And now let's look at our a terms. We have a to the fourth and a squared. Remember, we want to take the higher exponent, so we're going to take a to the fourth. And now we have b squared and b to the sixth, so we want to take the higher exponent, so we're going to have b to the sixth. And now we have a c to the third in our first monomial, but we don't have any c in our second one. We can really think of this as having a c to the zero if we want because anything to the 0 is 1, and we're still just going to take the higher exponent, so we're going to take c to the third. So if a variable shows up in one of your monomials but not the other, you need to include it in your least common multiple. So we get our least common multiple as 10a to the fourth, b to the sixth, c to the third. Moving on to example 3, we have 8m to the sixth, n to the third, p to the fifth, and 12m to the eighth, n to the fourth, p squared. So let's find the least common multiple of 8 and 12. I'm just going to write out some multiples of 8 first. So 8, 16, 24, 32. And we'll write out some multiples of 12, 12, 24, 36, 48. And we get that the least common multiple of 8 and 12 is 24. So for our overall least common multiple, we're going to start with 24. Now let's look at our variables. We have m to the 6th and m to the 8th. So we want to take the higher exponent. So we're going to take m to the 8th. We have n to the 4th and n to the 3rd. So again, we want to take the higher exponent. So we're going to take n to the 4th in our answer. And we have p to the 5th and p squared. So we're going to take the higher exponent, and we will get p to the 5th. So we get our least common multiple as 24, m to the 8th, n to the 4th, p to the 5th. And finally, taking a look at example 4, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try this one on your own and then you can watch me work through it to make sure you've done it correctly. So first, let's write down some multiples of 15 and 20. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 20 is 20, 40, 60, 80, and they both have 60 in common. That is the smallest multiple they have in common. So our least common multiple is going to have a 60 in the front. Now let's look at our variables. We have an x to the fourth in our first monomial and an x, which is x to the first in our second one. So if we take the highest exponent, we get x to the fourth. 
And now we have a y to the 6 in our second monomial. We don't have any y's in our first monomial, but we still have to put y in our answer. So if a variable shows up in either of your monomials, it has to be in your answer. So we're going to have y to the 6th. And same thing with z to the 3rd. We have a z to the 3rd in our first monomial. We don't have any z's in our second one. So we are going to have a z to the 3rd in our final answer. So we get the least common multiple is 60x to the 4th, y to the 6th, z to the 3rd. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to find the least common multiple of monomials. Just remember that when you're finding the least common multiples of variables, you just want to take the highest exponent that shows up for each variable.